Welcome back to Blender Stitch Live. Today I want to talk about an add-on called Blender Kit, Blender Kit Online Asset Library. So this is an add-on that's coming with Blender, any version of Blender, and basically you, you need to activate it, and then you sign up, and then you get your API key, yeah, and then you give your file path, and then you're ready to go. I'm using Blender 3.0 Alpha, and I will delete everything. And once you activate the add-on, you will see in this pane, there's this Blender Kit profile, uh, your name and plan. So I'm using the free plan and I've uploaded two uh, assets. And you can upload all kinds of assets, give it categories and either it's like 3D models, materials, scenes, HDR or brushes. So yeah, let's make something, make like a random composition. And I was inspired by this Netflix uh, TV series called Squid Game. It's a game about kind of like a brutal game of life and where you, you, you're you playing like childhood game and then you end up with the uh, money, piggy bank. So anyway, yeah, let's actually find something. I, I start with this. This is actually my creations. It's just a simple business card based on the game. I uploaded it earlier. Uh, actually, I could see my uploads. Okay, see, so, yeah, so I have Squid Game and I have this Buddha. So let's see, with this uh, game card, I want to rotate it. I think I should have made the pivot a little bit better. I think, yeah, I think that's the logo. Maybe I flip it. But anyway, that's the game card. So I can search the assets from here. I can also upload my own 3D assets there. What I really like about this design is that you can search for anything similar to Sketchfab and then just simply drag and drop it. So I have this little Buddha now. All we need to do is select the locator. This is like using the collections. So you can kind of just uh, duplicate it if you do it properly. Shift A, collections, instance, Buddha. Okay, in this case, I think this is the proper way. I think I moved the Buddha accidentally. <clears throat> anyway, we have two Buddha now. I can delete them. Let's save this very quickly. Let's add something uh, more like uh, so. Like I said, this is like a little bit like Sketchfab, so you can search anything, and you can filter uh, like you can sort by free first. So this is like a collaborations. So many people upload it into Blender Kit, and you can make make it like a free or uh, payable. In this case, I'm only using the one that's free. So, you can do something like this. You can quickly create like a composition. Let me delete just chess pieces. We don't need them. I just need the chessboard because it looks <coughs> looking kind of nice. Okay, so we have like our space here for the game. What should we put on it? Maybe bed. So actually, there are all kind of beds. I quite like this one actually. See how it loads and puts it in in your scenes, scenes collections. And now you can move them around. and single bed anyway 
anyway, so yeah, it's pretty random. So but I'll, I'll just put uh, whatever comes into my mind. Okay, we have toy. Let's see, childhood toys. The cool thing about this add-on is that it, it's going to try to place it on whatever you put on. So if you put, <clears throat> put a toy, oops. Somehow it was frozen for a bit. That's weird. Save this very quickly. What I really like is that the whole thing is very, very much uh, tidy. And you can basically study like a uh, composition and maybe put give it some nice lighting and things like that maybe we could have like doll kokeshi japanese doll all right how about this gnome oh okay this one is we need to pay for it Okay, so we don't have doll. Child, <clears throat> we got child drawings. Okay, similar to Sketchfab, of course you can upload assets but in this case it's it's a it's a, it is also blender specific so you can have blender material scenes at SDR and brushes it's kind of nice kind of nice let's make this a little bit like that I like how people actually put their own like artwork original artwork because this is, I think, probably when you're an adult, you, you don't really remember your childhood drawings anymore. But I think it's the coolest thing ever. So we can go back to toy. So like toy, plastic toys, lots of these are probably some things that we take for granted. but. Not every kids actually have toys, so it makes uh, makes you think about childhood. Ha, fidget spinner. Maybe we can even spin it inside Blender. Things like that. Fidget spinner is like a little bit like reminds reminds me of a drone. Okay, piggy bank. This is also nice. We need this Rubik cube. Okay, Rubik cube. So with a big light here, this is the money bank that you need to fight for. Fidget spinner, porcelain, piglet, Rubik's cube. Okay, Rubik's cube is big. So everything is aligned properly. Maybe rotate it a bit. So it's not. It's not totally perfect. But maybe they need to, they shouldn't float. Even the prison, prison beds can be slightly rotated. Oh, apparently there are kind of duplicates of the other collections. Okay, so that's okay. You can actually put some cash, but don't worry about it. Rubik's cube, uh, spinner. Put this on the bed. 
if you want you can also bring some pillow so yeah if you see if I drag it wherever I drag it's gonna try to put it on top of that object so it's pretty nice can have different pillow just put it put it on the bed just duplicate it yeah, pretty strange composition but it's fun actually uh, this is I think a way you can think about making composition in 3d and let's see what else what else I want to talk about see my uploads I, um, let me try actually file export as USD universal scene description this is actually something that I believe you can you can bring into other software maybe even like Maya let's let me try opening Maya squid game okay this is the result USD without the texture but at least they're exported properly if you try file export GLB you can export you can export the whole thing as a composition that can be can become like an AR objects USDZ that you can export to iPad or iPhone. You can turn it into a game. Okay, Maya is still loading this. It's gonna take a few minutes. How big is this? Okay, seventeen. Okay, some of the drawings maybe it's not PBR ready and some texture needs to be properly set up the wooden toy is not perfect but you get the idea how quickly we can make compositions in blender and then we can s export it out so some of the assets probably it's not PBR ready <laughs> Maya still loading okay okay i don't i don't want you paper note magic what is this oh get it it has fancy sh fancy shader that i don't want if i fix that paper note just use principal BSDF and then it's gonna export properly. Yes, uh, the wooden toy is also pretty funky, I think. Just keep it simple. Okay, this it has like a funky shader here. It, it will not export properly. Maya still loading. I'm gonna try to see how it opens in Maya. I don't know why I want to do that just want to show you the USD so we can kind of export import between 3d apps now using USD still this is like work in progress uh, in blender this is 3.0 alpha by the way still alpha but it's gonna this one's still loading somehow oh wow okay file export GLB what else can we bring into this squid game related object we I okay of course blender kit is similar to sketchfab sketchfab has a lot more like assets file import USD find it on my desktop Let's 
quit game. Let's see. Okay. It brings everything into Maya, but just the rotation is a little bit wrong. So. Okay, Maya. I forgot. Yeah, I need to group them maybe. Control G. Rotate 90 degrees. So this is how it looks inside Maya and maybe we lost the texture. Need to fix the shader. But anyway, just a quick look. Find a doll that's downloadable inside Sketchfab. This doll, <laughs> this doll looks cool. The one used in the squid game is actually like a based on the drawings inside the child children book school books. We have similar game in different countries, I think. Let's see, baby doll. This is probably a 3D scan object. When we start to mix things around, maybe things gonna get pretty weird. But what I like about the Blender Kit is that the assets is mostly clean, you know, and you can kind of you can be sure about the whole thing. Okay, I think this is pretty cool. So far, so we can play the game with this doll under this corporation's logo. I think this is yeah, pretty interesting. Okay, I can maybe bring in my own robot. This is my childhood robot, actually. Believe it or not, the first 3D model I made using Maya back in the day. Okay, now we have a compositions and we can start playing the game. All right, game of maybe give it some light or something. You can use EV. This is EV render, real time. But we're gonna try using Cycles X, which should be pretty fast. Okay, I definitely need to fix this assets. Usually inside Sketchfab, Sketchfab, if it's like a 3D scan, you need to join them and then just merge vertices by distance, clean up that thing a little bit. And then in this case, okay, the floor, I need to clean this. quick and dirty fix for the doll this doll apparently is using using this shader with the light path and mix shader so the doll is always looking like it was when scanned but our light might be needs to be brighter or we need to use environment map 
so it looks like realistic HDR HDR so just pick one so now we have a composition it's pretty realistic and all the asset is from blender kit and of course uh, we can also bring in some assets from sketchfab but you get the idea how the whole things was set up very very fast and quick let me give it a floor so they're not floating so yeah that's basically a quick look into blender kit add-on in blender i quite like blender kit i think i wonder how many people actually use blender kit maybe Quite, there are quite a lot of assets, maybe not as much as Sketchfab, but still uh, it's quite a nice management tool. I wish that this uh, tool is being used more often. I think it's like more like collaborations. So each asset is was made by someone using Blender, obviously, and it's ready to use inside Blender. I know that maybe these days people will just use Sketchfab or maybe like assets from other places and then use it inside game engine like Unreal or uh, for Unity or other game engine like Godot. But I think yeah, it's a, it's how it's a become, you know, like a assets creations tool for virtual world or something. All right, so hopefully you find this interesting. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.